Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation Lesson Two. Hello and welcome to Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation, the podcast for anyone looking to learn conversational Persian. My name is Leila, and I'll be your teacher for the course. And my name is Matt, and I will be learning Persian along with you. Chai and Conversation will teach you conversational Persian in weekly lessons of about fifteen minutes each. If you know anything about Iranians, they don't do anything without first grabbing a cup of tea, or as they call it, chai. So pour yourself a cup and join us in learning the Persian language. Welcome back to Chai and Conversation. Chai and Conversation brings you weekly lessons of conversational Persian all the way from Austin, Texas. Our program is unique in that it is the first and only podcast created specifically for people wanting to learn conversational Persian. And I can say from experience that it is extremely difficult to find sources for learning conversational Persian for a casual learner. We are aiming to put an end to this by creating the most effective and most comprehensive resource available in the world. It's quite a goal, but the need is out there, and you can help us with your continued support and feedback. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and log into our website at www.chaiandconversation.com with chai spelled C H A I for more information. We will talk more about this after the lesson. Also, we want to let you know that we won't be spending any time during the lesson going over previously learned material. You can do that on your own. Instead, we'll build on materials learned in past lessons. So, if you're new to Chai and Conversation, make sure you listen to Lesson One before listening to this one. But enough of that for now. Matt, are you ready to begin the lesson? Ready. Great. Let's begin to learn Persian with Chai and Conversation. So the first thing we learned in lesson one was how to say hello. Do you remember what the word for hello was, Matt? Salam. Great. So we're going to build on that today by learning some more ways to greet people throughout the day. The first word you could use to greet someone in the morning would be to say good morning. In Persian, this is sob mecher. Sob mecher. Watch that second word. It's sob. Becher. Sob becher. Exactly. So becher means to be good or to be well, and the word for morning is sob. So again, put together, that's sob becher. Sob becher. And note that we have that ch sound again, and this time it's in the middle of the word. Can you repeat that word one more time, Matt? Becher. Becher. Sob becher. Sob becher. So you can say sob becher until about noontime or lunchtime, and at that point it would become more appropriate to say good day or ruz becher. Ruz becher. So as you can probably guess, the word for day is ruz. So again, it's ruz becher. Ruz becher. Ruz becher. Ruz becher. As you move along further into the day, you can begin to say good afternoon. Good afternoon in Persian is asr becher. Asr becher. This is one of the more trickier words we've learned so far, with the rolled R coming at the end of the word. So watch out for the pronunciation of that word, asr. Asr. Asr becher. Asr becher. Asr becher. Asr becher. Great. So now let's try repeating these three greetings we've learned so far. Good morning is. Sob becher. Sob becher. Good day is. Ruz becher. Ruz becher. Good afternoon is. Asr becher. Asr becher. 
Great, so we're going to try that one more time. And this time, I'll say the word, you repeat the word, and then Matt will repeat it one more time so you can check your pronunciation with his. Sob bejer. Sob bejer. Ruz bejer. Ruz bejer. And finally, Asr bejer. Asr bejer. So as we move along further into the evening, we begin to say good night, which, as in English, is used as a farewell, not as a greeting. The word for night in Persian is shab. So, Matt, can you figure out how to combine it with what we previously learned to form good night? Shab becher. Exactly. So the word for night, shab, and the word for to be good, becher, forms shab becher. Shab becher. Shab becher. Shab becher. So now we've learned a few ways to say hello and a way to say goodnight. And let's learn a few more ways to say goodbye in Persian. The most common way to say goodbye in Persian is Khoda hafiz. Khoda hafiz. Again, that's Khoda hafiz. Khoda hafiz. You'll often hear this word shortened in casual conversation to simply Khoda hafiz. But for the purposes of this program, we're going to learn the longer version, which is Khoda hafiz. Khoda hafiz. In Persian, as in English, there are many ways to say goodbye. Let's learn a few of these. One way of bidding someone farewell is to casually say, Feilan. Feilan. Feilan means something along the lines of, for now. So, goodbye for now. Again, Feilan. Feilan. And in case you can't catch it over the podcast, it's Feilan with an F. Feilan. Feilan. Another very common phrase for goodbye is a slightly longer phrase than those we've learned before, but it is used often, so let's try it out. Be omide didar. Be omide didar. That's perfect, except for watch for that last word, didar. It's to see. Let's try that. Didar. Didar. And in the whole phrase, it's be omide didar. Be omide didar. 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 Be omide didar. Be omide didar. So let's try that again one more time. Be omide didar. Be omide didar. Perfect. So the word omid means hope, and didar again is to see to see you. So this phrase means something along the lines of "hope to see you again." Now let's repeat these few phrases that we've learned so far. Khoda hafiz. Khoda hafiz. Feilan. Feilan. Try to watch that second a. Ah, Feilan. Feilan. Perfect. And the slightly tricky one. Be omide didar. Be omide didar. Perfect. Now you can always combine the second two phrases we learned with Khoda hafiz to make an even more complete farewell. For instance, you could say Khoda hafiz feilan. Khoda hafiz feilan. And this literally means goodbye for now. You could also say Khoda hafiz be omide didar. Khoda hafiz. Be omide didar. And this would mean goodbye and hope to see you again. Let's learn two last common ways to say goodbye. You could say until later, which is ta bad. Ta bad. So the second word of this phrase is a slightly longer version of bad. It's bad. Bad. Bad means later, and notice that this is different than the word for bad because it has a pause in the middle of the word. 
Listen carefully. Bad. Bad. Perfect. So you could translate this into just a longer form of a. Ta bad. Ta bad. Perfect. So ta in the phrase ta bad means until. You can use this word with the word for tomorrow, which is farda, to say until tomorrow. Or in Persian, ta farda. Ta farda. So until later is ta bad. Ta bad. And until tomorrow is ta farda. Ta farda. Ta bad. Ta bad. And ta farda. Ta farda. Or as we previously did, combined with goodbye, Khoda hafiz ta bad. Khoda hafiz ta bad. To mean goodbye until later. Or Khoda hafiz ta farda. Khoda hafiz ta farda. Which is goodbye until tomorrow. So we learned goodbye, Khodafiz, for now, Felan, in hopes of seeing you again, Be Omid Didar, until later, Ta Bad, and until tomorrow, Ta Farda. Let's repeat all these together one last time before we move on. I'm going to say the word, you repeat it, and Matt will repeat it after you. Khodafiz. Khoda hafiz. Felan. Felan. Be omide didar. Be omide didar. Ta bad. Ta bad. Ta farda. Ta farda. Now we're going to learn one final thing before we wrap up this lesson, and that is how to say your name in Persian. The phrase for my name is Leila would be Isme man Leila hast. Listen to this carefully one more time. Isme man Leila hast. Matt, could you repeat that phrase using your own name? So I would say Isme man Leila hast, and Matt would say Isme man mat hast. Exactly. So again, I would say, Isme man leila hast. And Matt would say, Isme man mat hast. You may recognize the word man from that last lesson. This means me. And ism is the Persian word for name. So I'm going to repeat the phrase one more time and then you repeat it using your own name. Isme man leila hast. Great, and hopefully you replace the word Layla with your own name. Now, after you meet someone and you want to say something along the lines of pleased to meet you or it's a pleasure, you say Khosh Vaktam. Khosh Vaktam. Exactly. Khosh Vaktam. Khosh Vaktam. Great, so now let's try a short conversation using all these words we've learned so far. Listen along and see if you can understand all the words. Salam, sob bekhir. Salam, sob bekhir. Chetori. Khuba merci, chetori. Khuba merci. Esme man Leila hast. Khosh vaktam, esme man Matt hast. Khosh vaktam. And hopefully you understood all those words in that conversation. a few words in this lesson, but like we said before, that's how we want to take it for a Chayan conversation. Nice and slowly. You should try to listen to the podcast several times during the week so that you can become really confident with the language you've learned. There are also bonus materials on ChayanConversation.com that will help you learn the language even better. You can help to support us by purchasing the bonus materials for a cost of only $1 per lesson. 
This will help us to cover the cost of production and distribution, as well as providing you with a better grasp of the Persian language. Remember, you can also join our community on Facebook and leave us comments and suggestions. In addition, we would be honored if you would leave us a rating on iTunes. This is a good way for others to hear about the podcast. Until next time, Khoda Fes from Matt. Vabe Omide Didar from Leila. Bye.